By now, most people agree that 3i Atlas is just a weird comet crossing our solar system. But after studying new images, a scientist thinks 3i Atlas may be glowing artificially. The rank will either, either sink to zero, where it, we will figure out it must be a comet, or will rise all the way to 10, in which case the stock market may crash. But is it? Or could this all just be hype? I'd love to know what you decide by the end of this video after we dissect this scientist's claim, the evidence that made him suspicious, and what most scientists think about 3i Atlas's mysterious glow. Beginning with the suspicion that could change human history forever. Avi Loeb is a very well-known Harvard astrophysicist. He believes that open-minded scientists are not only essential for real progress, but also for human survival. This includes surviving advanced alien visitors. We discussed uh, in the past the, the existential threat from uh, artificial intelligence, from uh, climate change, from an asteroid impact, but there was no discussion about uh, uh, alien technology. And I, I think we should keep that in mind now that we are entering a new era where the Rubin telescope in Chile will find the, a new interstellar object every few months. That mindset is what led Avi to notice what appears to be an artificial glow radiating from 3i Atlas. After much closer inspection, he realized that our interstellar visitor is actually much brighter than expected for an object its size. As of today, scientists think 3i Atlas could be anywhere from 320 meters wide, that's about 1,050 feet, to 5.6 kilometers across, about 3.5 miles. That's the difference between a small mountain and something that could swallow a city. Are you saying that it's a 40% chance of it being artificial? Yeah, roughly speaking. Uh, that's very really high. Actually, that's pretty high. I, I actually defined the different uh, numbers between 0 and 10. So Avi takes a closer look at this supposed comet, and he's like, the amount of light doesn't fit what's expected. This thing is too bright. He knows that usually a comet is bright because it reflects sunlight off of its icy surface and dust cloud. But 3i Atlas's glow doesn't quite match what we would expect from a comet simply reflecting sunlight. It's too bright. Could there be another source of light? Maybe something besides nature. Avi takes a much closer look. This time, he and his colleague Eric Kido, they want to know how the brightness changes as you move outward from the center of the dust cloud. This is called the coma. For normal comets, the brightness most commonly fades slowly and follows a predictable pattern. But 3i Atlas decided to break the rules. It didn't behave that way at all. Avi Lowe found that the brightness dropped much faster than usual with a steep slope of about minus 4. That's pretty significant. That means the light gets weaker incredibly quickly as you move away from the middle. Avi Loeb said that this could mean that the dust cloud might not just be reflecting sunlight. Instead, the object might be generating its own light. That is obviously very different compared to ordinary comets where the sun does all the lighting from the outside. This got Avi Loeb so suspicious, he decided to run the numbers. If 3i Atlas is really shining on its own, it would need a light source of about 10 gigawatts. If I'm not wrong, that's like 10 big nuclear reactors running at the same time. But here's the catch. This only makes sense only and only if in fact, 3i Atlas is producing its own light, is producing its own artificial light, but is it? Well, we'll soon dissect what most scientists have to say about that, because if it's true, if in fact 3i Atlas is producing its own light, Avi Loeb has a few guesses as to how it's doing so. The first guess is that the glow may be from a rare radioactive piece of debris straight out of a supernova. So he's pretty much saying that a very old star exploded and by chance a glowing piece fell on top of 3i Atlas 
That's very convenient, but Avi Loeb thinks the chances are too low. Well, that leaves us with a wild idea I know you and I are thinking about right now. If that very suspicious, larger than usual glow is artificial, is 3i Atlas a spacecraft? Seriously, what if this apparent comet is actually an alien spaceship with freaking lights? I mean, most scientists and most evidence points to no, this is just a comet. At the end of the day, 3i Atlas has a huge dusty coma and even a faint tail. That's classic comet stuff. But what about the abnormal brightness that caught Avi Loeb's attention? Scientists say that this unusual brightness comes from one simple thing, dust. Well, as the comet moves closer to the sun, the heat makes the eyes on its surface turn straight into gas. That process is called sublimation. The gas then pushes dust off the comet creating a huge glowing cloud around it called a coma. Together they reflect sunlight and makes the comet look much brighter than its small core really is. Yes, 3i Atlas is catfish in the cosmos. But as it travels deeper into the solar system, scientists watch the coma grow larger and brighter, exactly like ordinary comets do. When they study the light more closely, they find water vapor and organic materials, the same ingredients seen in countless other comets. Some influencers without a scientific background claim that 3i Atlas has dust but no gas, and that is impossible for a comet. They say that this proves that not only is this not a comet, but that its lights are artificial. However, I found peer-reviewed studies by scientists like David Jewett and Daryl Seligman who have already found evidence of dust, a sun-facing plume, a weak tail, and even water vapor around 3i Atlas. These are all signs that the comet is releasing both dust and gas. Scientists say that some comets may look like they have no gas or very little, but once you look closer, you can see the freaking gas. Avi Loeb himself admits that his idea needs way more evidence, a lot more. It's still just speculations, but they're very important to have. He also agrees 3i Atlas is most likely a comet. However, it's on the threshold of uh, def you know being uh, considered seriously as a technological, but it's not yet there. We haven't seen the, the generic signature of a, a, a technological object. And if we do, then it will be a matter of um, policymakers uh, in consultation with scientists how to respond, because that's very different than getting a radio signal from a star that is thousands of light years away, in which case there is no rush in responding to it. But when you have a visitor to your backyard, you know, there is urgency in uh, responding appropriately. The next plans for 3i Atlas could change everything, including its current status as a comet. Better images, better information. Hey, next thing you know, we see 3i Atlas slowing down, turning around and heading towards us. What will you do then? Let me know in the comments. Thank you to the top commenters in this tribe. Thank you guys. You're beautiful. You're awesome. Thanks for existing.